Jesus shall reign where the sun doth his successive journeys run. His kingdom stretch from shore to shore till men shall rest and wait. service continues on page 355 in the Red Book of Common Prayer. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be God, Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we say together the Gloria. Glory, Glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. earth. Glory to God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, and we praise you for your glory. For Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, whose will it is to restore all things in your well-beloved Son, the King of kings and Lord of lords, mercifully grant that the peoples of the earth, divided and enslaved by sin, may be freed and brought together unto his most, under his most gracious rule, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people, it is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will, not att so I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, 
and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they will not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his day, days Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. We remain seated and read together Canticle 16, which is in our green handout. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people. The second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Colossians. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from his glorious power. And may you be prepared to endure everything with patience, while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints of the light. He has rescued us from the power of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of the cross, of his cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy. Nope, that's not it. Is that it? Sorry. Sorry. Alleluia.
God be with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. When they came to the place that is called the skull, they crucified Jesus there with criminals, one on his right and one on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they cast lots to divide his clothing. And the people stood by watching Jesus on the cross. But the leaders scoffed at him, saying, He saved others. Let him save himself, if he is the Messiah of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine, saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was also an inscription over him, This is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who were hanged there kept deriding him, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, Do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence of condemnation? And we indeed have been condemned justly, for we are getting what we deserve for our deeds. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then Jesus said, then he said to Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord. Please take your seats. The soldiers also mocked him, coming up and offering him sour wine and saying, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Let us be together today in the name of one God, the one who creates us, who redeems us, and who empowers us. On this feast day of Christ the King, I bring you greetings from the faculty and seminarians at Virginia Theological Seminary and all of us here at St. John, John's Georgetown, where I serve as a seminarian and will be serving for the next six months as a deacon. There's no place like seminary to really understand how much we are a people of words. We speak the word, we read the word, we have words in the prayer book, we have words in the hymnal, we call the scripture readings the word of the Lord. We are definitely a people of words. And there's one word that we use all the time. It's a forceful word. It determines futures. It sparks creativity. It enhances motivation. It's a powerful word. It can create anxiety and depression out of joy. It can exacerbate guilt and shame. It's everywhere. In fact, it is found 4,711 times in the Bible. And I might posit that it might be one of the most powerful words we have. It's a small word, only two letters. If. We react in a big way when somebody launches the word if in our direction. If you weren't such a scaredy cat, if you were a real man, if you were really committed to this project, if you really cared, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Today's gospel, this feast day, it's almost like it's a world upside down. It's like it doesn't belong here today. I mean, we're starting Advent next week, the, we the weeks that are leading up to the birth of Jesus Christ with shepherds and angels and drummer boys and wise men. And this week, we are given a hideous scene of condemnation and rebuke and violence. In the next few weeks, we are looking at life through a lens 
of waiting and wondering and looking up at the star of Bethlehem. And this week, we're looking at life from a very different vantage point. We're looking down from the cross while people spit and taunt and laugh. One might wonder why this jarring moment is given to us today, this feast day of Christ the King. Pope Pius XI designated this Sunday as the Feast of Christ the King in 1925. The scene back then was grim. The dictator Mussolini had been terrorizing, had Europe. Been terrorizing Europe. Europe. The whole world and was the feeling, whole world was this feeling this this tension, tension, this terror, this terrorization, terrorization on all consuming, all consuming levels. levels. Pious name, Pious the Sunday, name, the feast of Christ the King, the Christ to bring King, people back, to, bring people to, what, was back to what was important. He wrote, to remind to Christians remind that their allegiance was to their allegiance to spiritual, to ruler, their spiritual in heaven, ruler in heaven, as opposed to earthly, as opposed supremacy. To earthly supremacy. To remind us to that our allegiance is to our God and not to, God and not to a ruler, to a on, ruler earth. on earth. Christ the King is an interesting, the King is twist. An interesting twist on how we on usually how are reminded of our allegiance to God. God. We talk about the way of love, about the way of loving your neighbor and healing the sick, healing the sick. And the feast of Christ the King is marked with King is marked brutality, and cruelty, and cruelty, and taunting. cruelty and taunting. But remember, but remember, we've been following, we've been Jesus, following Jesus from the very Jesus start of very his ministry. Start of his ministry. And, we've heard this and we've heard this taunting before. before. Remember back, remember when back Jesus was when in the Jesus desert, was in the desert, and the devil was the trying, devil to, was tempt trying him, to tempt him, to break him, and to the break devil him. Says to and the him, devil says to if him, "If you are the son, of God, are the son of God, tell this stone, tell this stone, to become bread." To become bread. And then again, and if then you are the son of God, the son of God, get yourself down, get yourself from, that down cliff. from that cliff. And Jesus turns and down, Jesus the, turns devil's down offer, the devil's wealth and offer, power wealth and kingship power over, and this earth, over this earth in favor in of, favor God's, of kingdom. God's kingdom. And then Luke writes. And then Luke writes. Then the devil then left the devil him left until, him a more, until a more opportune time. time. And in today's gospel, and in today's on this feast day of Christ, the day King, of Christ the King, we are we there. Are there at a more opportune, more opportune time? time. Time. Because Jesus is because hanging Jesus on the cross, is hanging on the with cross, nails in his nails, hands and his feet, a fate that was reserved that was for only the lowest of the lowest criminals. Low and we criminals. hear those we same hear those taunts. Same taunts. So if he is the Messiah, he is the Messiah. Let him save let himself. Him save if you are the King of the Jews, you Jews save yourself. Jews, save yourself. Calling Jesus down Calling from Jesus the cross. down from the cross. How many times how many times we get so we get caught up so in what's happening up here, what's on happening earth, here on earth those earth, things those things take up our take up head our head spaces our ifs. our ifs if she listened if to me she I wouldn't have to me, hit her I wouldn't have to if hit those her. people would if just those people would just, just they would have jobs, homes, they would have if own they got elected our world would be better if only I had more time if only I had more money I had more money if I were born to a different type of family if you worked as hard as I do as I do if if those if those if those ifs take those ifs take up our life on earth. And the thing is, and the, thing the power is, of if, the power of if is really is really all about our all about agency. Our agency. It's about our ability. It's about our ability to choose, to choose what, we what we believe. We believe. In fact, one fact, could make a pretty strong a pretty argument strong that our lives, that our are lives, wonderful, are wonderful, complicated existences that we are all going are through, all going are just a string, just a string of then scenarios. Then scenarios. But when we're not careful, but when we're not careful, the ifs. We start ifs, to take control. start to take control. We start to believe, we start to believe our ifs, our ifs about safety, about and security, safety and security, or wealth, or wealth, or why we don't belong, or why we don't belong. And we start falling. And we start pray. falling prey to if, to if. If I don't have enough money, if I don't have enough money, if I don't maintain my I don't status, maintain my status. If they don't like me. They don't like me. And all of a sudden, and all of a sudden, our earthly, our ifs earthly, if start to obscure, start to obscure God's, kingdom. God's kingdom, 
our priorities, our priorities start to warp, start to and, the warp. Very and the very way we define, we define terms, terms get skewed. Get skewed. Get skewed. Look at first century Palestine. Look at first century Palestine. If you are, if the, you king, are the king, well, the king, well, the didn't king mean what those people mean thought, what those people thought, thought it did. Just that like day. being powerful, just like being or powerful, being successful, or being successful, doesn't really mean doesn't what really we mean what they we mean. mean. Think it means it doesn't mean it doesn't Tesla's mean and Tesla's business deals and business deals and gazillion dollar vacation dollar vacations. To the moon. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean colonizing and colonizing more and more from power and more power. And it doesn't mean the end of meaning and suffering and on, suffering or off the or cross the cross. Christ the King, Christ the, the King, Son of God, the Son of means God. Completely the opposite. It the means opposite. it means having an eye, having an eye voice. for the little voice, the little boy who the offered his lunch to five thousand people, people. The, the Samaritan woman, the Samaritan well, the Syrophoenician woman, never even said never anything. Even she said just, anything. Just, touched just touched the hem of his garment. Hem of his garment. And the criminal this and morning who says, Jesus, who says, Jesus, remember me, remember me, come into your kingdom, into your kingdom. That's what Christ, what the King, the King. Means. Christ the King Christ the means King freedom means Jesus freedom. is giving Jesus us a choice this morning is giving us freedom is giving us freedom if from if by showing us what's by really showing us what's important. important important because as much because as, as much schedules as schedules and gifts and, and gifts dinners and, and dinners having time and having money and, and, and cars and where your cars and where your kids go to school all that all matters. that matters when we're given the opportunity, given the opportunity to, see, to really see, to really an see, and leading man to death, leading to death, laugh and spit, and spit. Those if, those if, those conditions, those conditions, those conditions so that we think are so important, drop away, drop away. Because God's kingdom, because God's is kingdom not is not ruled by conditional, by conditions or power or hungers or power hungers. God's kingdom, God's kingdom is ruled is by the crucified, by the crucified, who is shamed to death, by, shamed by, to our, death earth, by kingdom, our earthly kingdom, but kingdom, who we, but who we gather to proclaim to as proclaim Lord, as every Lord week. every week. But especially this, but especially week, this week, on the feast of Christ, the, the feast king. of Christ, the King, our King. Our king, the reigning monarch, the reigning of monarch God's kingdom, of God's kingdom, a king who has a service, king who has and service, listening and, and caring as the jewels, as the jewels, jewels, crown, in his crown, and the cross as his and scepter, the cross as his scepter, and giving his life, for and his giving people, his life for his people, as his power, as his power, friends, friends. That is why. That is why the we feast have day the here, feast day today, here, today. So we see a so we see a different of kind. King. A, a king who has, has, king the, eye who has the, the eye voices. for the little voices, our voices, our voices, even as even he died, as he died on the cross. A king who puts king aside who puts himself and any, any kind of earthly kingdom, kingdom, earthly kingdom to make to make for God's kingdom. for God's kingdom. And so, as and so, going through, as for the going next few the weeks, next few shopping weeks and of shopping, crowds and parties and, and families and, families and turkey family dinners, and turkey dinners. We can, remember we can remember what is to come. What is to come, and we can remember, and we can remember our, our king. king, and start noticing, and start noticing the little ways, the little that the ways kingdom of God, the kingdom places of God, where it places through, busts through, into through, the suffering into in the our suffering world. In we, our can world. Choose, we can healing. choose healing. We can choose. We can choose inclusion. Inclusion. We can choose service. We can choose service, and in doing so, and in doing so, we choose. We choose love. love. Today's today's Jesus, of Christ Jesus, the King of Christ means, the King Jesus means, takes Jesus all takes the power all the power out of, of if of if and gives us the choice and gives us the to choice see what to he, see what really he thinks is thinks important is important. Pope Pius Pope Pius might have been right might have been right. Maybe it takes maybe it takes torture and torture. blood. And, and cruelty to jar and us, to out, jar of us out of our obsession with on the this planet that on this get planet in the that way get of the, the truth way. of the truth. Friends, friends, if did if not mean did not any any to Jesus to Jesus. If didn't if get him on didn't the cross, get him on the cross. If played no if part played no in part resurrection. In resurrection. His sign above his, his sign above his does head not head say does not if. say. If it says it says is here the king is the king he is not he is if, not if he 
His is. Amen. Amen. Our service continues on page 358 in the Red Book of Common Prayer. Please stand. And please join us to, um, as we recite the Nicene Creed in affirmation of our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and of earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten from the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified, he has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and we look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The prayers of the people may be found on page Peace. 388 in the Book of Common Prayer. Page 388. Okay. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, live together in your love, and reveal your glory to the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Bless all those lives are closely, bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours and grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as he loves us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Comfort and heal all those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles and bring them the joy of salvation. Lord, in your mercy, we commend to your mercy all who have died, that your will for them may be fulfilled, and we pray that we may share with all your saints in your eternal kingdom. Lord, 
Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Hasten, O oh Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city where, with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Turning back to page 360, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in heart, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you in our whole faith and have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. And now, remembering that Christ's peace knows no boundaries, may the peace of the Lord be always with you. Please exchange a sign of peace with one another and greet those worshiping with us online. The camera's right in the back. I invite you to take your seats for a brief period of announcements. First of all, welcome to everyone worshiping with us both in person and on Zoom. We're grateful to have you here with us as we lean, as we begin to prepare for this lovely holiday season. Um, as Laura, our um, seminarian um, at VTS, um, preached to us, today is the hinge of the church year. It's New Year's Eve of the church year next Sunday begins the season of Advent. Um, and in um, all of that preparation, there are a few um, opportunities and invitations. One is to please stay after church today and help the Altar Guild um, transform the church for um, the Advent and Christmas season. All levels of skill and dexterity and willingness to climb ladders are invited. Um, and so that's immediately after church. Um, there is also coffee. Um, and snacks in the parish hall, which is that building over there, um, if you would like. Um, please do not bring coffee and snacks into the sanctuary. That makes the altar guild's life more complicated. Um, next Sunday, we're going to be making Advent wreaths after um, church. Now, we have many times made Advent wreaths at church. So if you have one of those wire things like the, that you make a wreath on, please, please bring it back again. I have some but not like 20. So if there are any at your house, please bring them. And if you are going to get a tree um, or you're buying some garland, please also bring some greenery. And I will have candles and ribbon and that funny green wire that you use. Um, and I believe there's a box with those little nippers. So I think we'll have everything we need. Um, the Seekers, are, our youth group, are gathering this evening, and we're going to be talking about how in Advent the world is always ending and beginning, and we're going to be making some Advent calendars together. And also during the season of Advent, we're going to be praying Compline, like we did in Lent, um, on Sunday evenings at 9 p.m. and Wednesday evenings at 9 p.m. and on Zoom. So there will be a link to the Zoom, Compline, and the first, Monday, the first Sunday and Wednesday will also send an email reminder out. Um, and it's a brief 10-ish minute service of bedtime prayer that comes to us from the monastic tradition. Do we have announcements from the outreach committee? Or shall I make them? Um, so, as you will have read in the parish email, um, if you are not on the parish email, please give me your email after church and we will add you or there's a card in the pews. Um, but there are two opportunities um, for giving during Advent. First, we, um, as is our tradition, um, gather gifts for Help One Child, a local organization that supports foster youth 
and you'll see a giving tree outside. Please take home a card or two, purchase the gift that child has requested, and bring it back unwrapped by December 4th. The other thing we do in the Advent season is um, a reverse Advent calendar. So every day um, or every time you go to the grocery store, you're invited to put um, a, a pantry staple in a box so that by the end of the Christmas season, um, you have a box of food. Um, and we give this to One Life Counseling. Um, and there's a drop off here in, um, here in San Carlos. And that helps um, people in need start the new year off um, with, with something in their pantry. Um, I believe that is, ah, no, lastly and most importantly, today is um, our Stewardship In Gathering Sunday. We end the church year um, with this little turn of looking towards what we anticipate in the new year. We're in the process of um, a search. Many people here um, in the congregation or on our search committee, they had a a deep and engaging retreat yesterday, um, talking about what that process will look like. Um, and as Laura preached, all we have comes from God, and so we give back to God in hope and anticipation that good work will happen here among us. Um, if you have already sent in your pledge card, we thank you. Um, if you have your pledge card, um, we're going to pass the plate around during the communion hymn for you to put that in. There are also cards in the back um, if you would like. And um, if you need one, you can pick one out, up on the way out or talk to me or Bob. Thank you for all of the ways that you support our life together. We're now going to move to the handout, the worship guide. We have some prayers to pray. Um, do we have any um, birthdays or anniversary blessings? We always begin with giving thanks for life and um, committed relationship. All right, happy birthday to everyone who is not here because they are celebrating their birthday, etc. It was my mother's birthday, so yay mom. <coughs> and um, I also want to say, um, some of you will have heard on the radio or the news that there was a shooting last night at a nightclub, a uh, gay nightclub in um, Colorado Springs. Um, and today also is the Transgender Day of Remembrance, a day that that community asks us all to remember those whose lives have been cut short for various reasons, um, be often because of violence. And so um, I would ask us to please turn to page 814 in the prayer book. Sorry, page 815 in the prayer book. And let's pray together the prayer for the human family. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family and take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our hearts. Break down the walls that separate us, unite us in bonds of love, and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth, that in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Going to go slightly out of order. Um, the prayer for those soon to be ordained. Laura is going to be ordained the transitional diaconate on Saturday, December 3rd at 3 p.m. It is traditional for her congregation to come and support her. You are invited. Please get there early to find parking in the area and wear warm layers as the cathedral is wintry. Um, the traditional color is red and we invite you to be with us as we celebrate Laura's journey towards the priesthood. She'll be so close. We pray that in June, we will make her a priest. And she is going to preach her, her, her she was wants to preach um, the day after her ordination. We're like, bring it. But she's also going to be serving for the first time as a deacon here with us. So let's pray for those soon to be ordained. God, our creator, who said, let there be light. Through your Son, you have called us into the fellowship of your universal church. Hear our prayers for your faithful people, your education and ministry, 
which may be an instrument of your love. And give to us, your servants seeking ordination, the gifts of grace and the spirit of truth through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Now looking towards our future, let's pray for our search for our next rector. Almighty God, look graciously in the people of Church of the Epiphany. Be with us and lead us as we seek the next rector for our church. We ask your direction and guidance for those who shall choose on their spiritual leader, that we may receive a caring, inclusive, and faithful pastor who will shepherd your people and equip us for our ministries. Grant us perception, faithfulness, and joy so that we may hear your voice in all our deliberations. Grant us also the desire and the ability to truly hear each other and those who have entrusted us with this process. Give us courage to respond and act as you lead us. Come, Holy Spirit. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us. Oh, sorry. Bob has an announcement. Um, Adrian, you were going to come. Oh, my stand. goodness, yes. I'm so sorry. Stewardship season, stewardship messages. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm going to start today by borrowing a passage from uh, the Bishop of Liverpool and his book, The Table. This is something I read a few years ago, but um, for me it really embodies um, what epiphany means and what epiphany sort of you know, has brought to me and my family. And then we'll talk a little bit about stewardship before we proceed with the rest of the service today. So bear with me. It's, it's relatively brief. So there's this table. It's a simple table, but it's well made because it was made by a carpenter. The guy who made it is a poor man, but he's generous. He offers a place at the table to anyone who wants to sit and eat. This is a table that started in one place, but now it can stretch down every street and it can go into every home if people want to sit there. It's a table for meeting it's a table for talking around. It's a table for laughing. And most of all, it's a table for eating. It's a level table. Maybe it's not a round table. Maybe it's a square table so that people can look directly at one another as they sit there, can look each other in the eye as they sit there beside the poor man who made it. But it's not a high table. You don't have to qualify to sit there. It's for anyone. And the poor man sits there and wherever people sit, he sits beside them. You can sit there too, with the poor man, and look across the table at people you like and at people you don't like, at people who agree with you and at people who disagree with you. Sometimes it's a table for thumping. Sometimes it's a table for signing treaties and for making peace. Always the poor man sits beside you. Yes, most of all, it's a table for eating. You can't eat alone at this table. You can't buy a meal at this table. You can't buy a ticket to sit here. Anyone can sit here. It's a table like a table at a wedding. You sit with guests you never knew, and you find out about them, and they become your friends. And the table is spread with a beautiful fair white linen cloth, and you come here like any pilgrim coming into a new house. They will clothe you in the most beautiful clothes, and they will make you feel welcome. And so for me, Coming to Epiphany now, probably about five years ago, um, I've always felt tremendously welcome. I've, I've loved the community. I've loved all of the people here. And um, when I come in every Sunday and you know, see you all sitting here and the, the sort of banter and people going over back and forth and chatting and see children skipping down the aisle when they come back from godly play and um, um, see, you know, I saw Nancy coming in earlier and saw Vivian come over and bring her the, bring her the, um, um, uh, the service schedule so that she had that. And, and so it, it's just wonderful to see that community. Um, and while the table is in our community, any of us can choose to sit there, 
You know, it would be mighty chilly this morning if it weren't for the funding that Epiphany can provide sitting at that table. Um, you know, it's important that we have the funds to be able to operate, to keep the lights on, to pay for our staff, to ensure that we can continue to offer the framework for all of the outreach work that we're doing. Help One Child is one example that we heard about this morning. And so I would personally just be very grateful to the extent to which you're able, if you're able to support us through the stewardship um, season so that you know, we're able to um, continue to support our community um, to sit at the table through next year. So thank you. And thank you, Adrian, for your leadership on the vestry and your presence among us. And now, let us walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a gift to God.
Please stand. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise God, all the heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the generosity of this community for all of the time, talent, and treasure that goes into creating and sustaining our life together here in your presence. Be with us in the weeks and years to come. We thank you for the blessing of all that you have given us. Amen. Our service continues on page 367 in the Red Book of Common Prayer. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Almighty God, creator of heaven and earth. Because in Jesus, because in Jesus Christ our Lord you have received us as your beloved children, made us citizens of your kingdom and given us the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of heaven and We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O God, we remember, remember his, his death, death. we you proclaim his resurrection, resurrection. we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. And in the fullness of time, put all things in communion with your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, 
the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, we must keep the feast. The gifts of God for the people of God. All are welcome at God's table. I'll have um, the wafers and also gluten-free wafers um, at the center of the aisle. And there are also um, cups of wine that the other servers will have. Please keep your mask on as you come forward. There is also hand sanitizer in the pews as the cold season moves among us. Um, and um, after you've received, so after you've come forward, step aside, take the bread and wine, and there are um, trays on either side of the church for you to put your cups, and they will be composted by our faithful altar guild.
choir has replaced the communion hymn today, as opposed to what is written on the screen, we are going to sing 291. And I will sing the final line of the refrain so that you get a little, little sense of it. That's 291. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his love. We on page 366 in the red BCP. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son, and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, and let us serve you with glad and full witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. May Christ reign in your hearts. May you feel his presence, comfort, and sustaining love in all you do. And may God's blessing be with you, Christ's peace be with you, and the Spirit's outpouring be with you now and always. Amen. We'll now turn in our hymnals to number 460, Alleluia, Sing to Jesus. And on this Christ the King Sunday, we're going to sing verses 1, 4, and 5. Alleluia, sing to Jesus, his
Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Alleluia.